the flight attendant in this training video have protected herself and the passengers on her flight from terrorists if she had been trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat. There's a push by the Association of Flight Attendants for that kind of training to keep passengers safe. Wendy Stafford is a former flight attendant. She's also the owner of a flight attendant training school. She joins us this morning. Good morning to you, Wendy. Uh, you and Jason Bourne could have something in common if, uh, if this passes Congress. Why do you think it's important for flight attendants to learn hand-to-hand -hand combat? Well, there are a lot of situations nowadays where passengers can get out of control pretty easily, pretty quickly, and uh, you don't have, the, well, the flight attendants are the first line of defense now. You can't just call 911 if someone gets combative on a flight. Yeah, and I mean, you there say, are a lot of things that can cause it. Yeah, I mean, you say you're the first line of defense. We saw that on Christmas Day with the, the mm -hmm. underwear bomber, there was no air marshal on board. When did you start to feel this was right. necessary? Is this because of terrorism or because of unruly passengers? Well, it's a combination of both. Um, for a number of years, flight attendants have complained about the fact that passengers can attack them and, and be combative in flight. Um, it can stem anywhere from being too much alcohol use, uh, people being afraid to fly, fear comes into it sometimes, and just people sometimes are just not nice. Well, that, that is true, Wendy. Here are my concerns. One, should flight attendants be forced to undergo this type of training? I'm certain there are some women out there that would not be comfortable getting physically involved with whomever it may, may be, even a terrorist. And two, what if this is used on, as you say, a, just a not nice person, unruly passenger? Do we want flight attendants in the position to perhaps get physical with an ordinary passenger who might be unruly? No, absolutely not. And that's where good training comes in. Uh, you should be able to be taught how to de-escalate people without using physical force. But there are times where people do need to be contained and uh, that's where defensive tactics co would come in handy. If flight attendants are afraid to, to defend themselves, I, th I think that's kind of scary myself. You should be in a, a mode where you can defend yourself if you need to, not just on an airplane, but even uh, flight attendants stay in hotels and things and they want to keep themselves safe. But for the public on the airlines and on the airplanes, it would be really good, I think, to have something to fall back on. Yeah, well, uh, wait a minute. Listen, absolutely. with the underwear bomber, obviously he had an explosive on his person that he was trying to ignite. Would you feel comfortable tackling him? Um, not if I weren't properly trained how to, how to do that. And, and there are some times where you can't handle every situation. But if, if someone is getting um, combative because maybe they are, are just out of control for another reason or even a terrorist that maybe doesn't have a bomb but they're, they're trying to do something that's not good, then flight attendants can possibly step in and, and take control of the situation yeah. if they're taught how the right way. Well, we, we teach a little bit of self-defense in our class, and um, I think it's very important to do that. Sure, Flight I mean, attendants are the ones who save the passengers and get them out of the plane if it's on fire. Sure, it's great if the pilot can land yeah. the plane, but it's those flight attendants that get it out, and they don't have enough recognition. They never have. No, Absolutely. you're right. You make good points, Wendy. Absolutely. And we saw that on Christmas Day, how important it was, even yeah. there was no air marshal on board. Uh, Wendy Stafford, thanks so much for coming uh, on with your perspective on this. Thank you. You know, a, a new reality show coming up based on flight attendants. That should be interesting right? on the CW, yeah.